this isn't a bash it's telling the truth my experience there are some ladies that will not let me do the grass if it's overcast like it is right now they create this doom and gloom in their head that you can't do the yard when it's overcast I show up and they go it's raining <laughs> it's not raining this is fog and the thing is one minute later when the Sun pops out they will say it's okay to do the yard and I would like to ask them what is the difference in the yard one minute later foggy versus Sun makes no sense get inside leave a check out I called it again I know these people better than they know themselves I'm taking care of my regular customers because the leaves dumped all at once and we have a few days of good weather they're at the top of my list they're on the schedule they've been with me for years that's not gonna change so this lady across the street a lady who I've talked to before trying to get her on a schedule the benefits of being on the schedule she never went for it she kept saying oh we'll see we'll see so today when I'm in the middle of it taking care of my regulars lots of leaves she comes out grinning pointing at her yard all of her leaves have dumped you can't even see the grass and I'm telling myself no 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 and I stood my ground and she was surprised like always and I knew I could have told her this would happen I may have told her that she's gonna get jammed up when I'm busy and I won't be able to get to her and that's when she says oh we'll see that means she'll try to talk me into it but it didn't happen because that would mean that I have to bump a loyal customer that's paying me ten times as much as she's paying me well I don't know if I have her anymore but you have to go with the numbers you can't bump a high payer a loyal customer so she's been out of shape she tried to catch me at the right time and I wouldn't make eye contact and she finally caught me get into my truck she has my number I don't appreciate getting ambushed trying to get me to agree to something that we already talked about and I, I have to say it I am proud of myself for standing my ground because a couple few years ago I would have caved to this woman she's thinking that if I see her upset that's gonna make me do it no 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 they're misguided when they think that it bothers me to see their yard out of sheep it doesn't bother me at all the only thing that motivates me is paying my bills if your yard looks like crap it doesn't bother me now if you want to prepay and set something up for next week then we'll talk I just have to lay it out the old way does not work getting walked on does not work so if it means that I don't get her business anymore no sweat you know what's disappointing is when I'm telling them exactly what's gonna happen I'm telling them the exact scenario and they don't respect me enough to believe me even after I've been doing this for many years they think it's gonna be their way they think it's gonna be a nice pretty day and I'm gonna cater to them and drop everybody else I've had my fill I'm sorry I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens in the future with these people that ambush me with their out-of-control yard with the leaves and don't get on the schedule they are deceptive they will give me the impression that they're interested they will say things like sounds good oh that's a good idea or they'll just smile and nod but they will not commit verbally they are very deceptive 
So when it comes down to getting back on the schedule, they put me off. They say their son was in town, or they're going to do it, or it's not that bad when it is that bad. So they never get on board, and I know this. I've messed up on it plenty of times. I can lay it all out for them. It should be scary to them that I can tell them exactly what they're going to do before they do it. And it's 100%. Like this lady today, they, her yard was covered with uh, Bradford pear leaves. And she'd have done the same thing. Because I've been watching her yard for about two or three years. Many different yard services there. I'm not touching it. Because she will not commit. It doesn't help me at all. Her neighbor's the same way, believe it or not. Well, it's worse. She's had more yard services there. She will not get on the schedule. Her yard gets really bad. And she backs out of her driveway every time she sees me to try to make eye contact. Because the last yard service will not go back. And I can guarantee you that the last yard service tried to get her on her schedule and she hemmed and hawed. Not doing it, lady. Nice try, though. Trying to catch me at the right moment. You got me today, but I knew I, I was ready for you.